Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. Today we are going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how you can make natural looking fake freckles. So let's just get started on this look right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to prep my skin. Now, I've already washed my face and applied moisturizer, but because we're going for like a natural freckled face, um, I wanted to put on some primer as well. So I'm going to be using the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And it's really good. It doesn't really, I wouldn't say it makes your makeup last longer, but it gives the skin a really beautiful, like dewy, luminous veil before applying any makeup. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to take this brush. This is just from L'Oreal. I don't know the name of it. It came with like a powder thing that they had. And I'm just going to work that into my brush and apply a soft layer of that onto my face. So I'm just really working that into my skin with the brush. And a little bit down on my neck as well. While I let that sink into my skin, I'm just gonna do um, brows and eyes really quickly. So I'll be right back, I'm just gonna do that off camera. So I've done my brows off camera and I put some mascara on my upper lashes as well as I put some concealer on my eyelids just to cancel out any redness and any veins that I might have on my eyelids. Um, in my last video I showed you how I do my eyes, eyebrows usually, I will link that somewhere here on the screen if you want to go check that out. Um, but now we're going to move on to um, the face. Um, next I'm going to do foundation, foundation because the primer has uh, stuck into the skin and it's ready to receive product on top of it. So now I'm going to take the Too Cla All-in-One Glow Foundation from YSL. This one is really beautiful for um, if you want to get just a natural finish to the skin. It cancels out any discoloration, but it keeps the skin looking like skin. And I don't apply a lot of it, so I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I transfer that to the center of my face because I always work my foundation outwards, um, because you have the most discoloration if you have any redness or something in your skin. It's usually towards the center of your face. So I put the foundation through the, uh, on my center, the center of my face, and then I work my way outwards. And if I feel like I need more foundation, I have some on the back of my hand, so I always work like I use my hand like a palette. So I always just pick up some extra foundation in my brush so if I feel like I need some more. I add it where I need. Now that we're done with the foundation, I'm going to be moving on to concealer. Um, I want to keep the concealer like I did with the foundation, as natural as possible. So really light coverage and just concealing any areas where I might have blemishes or might have like dark circles underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I've been really been liking this one. <laughs> I've been trying a lot of concealers lately and this one is, I keep going back to this one, which must mean it's a good one. So I just pick up a little bit of the concealer on my breast. This is a setting brush for Real Techniques. The reason I'm not putting it directly on my face is because I don't want that big of a coverage. I don't want that much product on my face. So I'm just picking it up on my brush and then I am applying it where I need. So I'm gonna do my under eye circles to brighten them up a little bit and conceal any darkness that I might have. And also when you pick up the concealer on the brush, you can sort of control how much you need so you're not stuck with having applied a lot of concealer on your face. You can always go back and add more because it's harder to pick it up than it is to put it on, if that makes sense. And I always put a little bit of concealer around my nose because I usually have red spots here because I'm always stuffy and then I have a few blemishes on my forehead and I'm just gonna conceal those as well. Now that I feel like I have my face ready, um, I've applied foundation and concealer, I'm just gonna take a dry beauty blender and I'm just gonna press what I have, press, I'm gonna press what I have um, on my skin into my skin. So I'm just stippling the dry beauty blender top of my concealer and my foundation just to make sure that there aren't any lines and that it's perfectly pressed into the skin. So now that we're done with the skin and all of the prepping, we can move on to the freckles. Um, I ha It's a funny story actually, I have this lingerie vault, lip lingerie vault from NYX. Um, it has a lot of the lip lingerie colors, if not all of them, and I'm, I'm not actually sure because it only has nude ones and I'm not sure if they only have nude ones or if they have colored, one as, colored, colored ones as well, not sure. 
but um, when I tried this method, the fake freckles method that I'm going to be showing you for the first time, um, I went to this vault to try to find a, a liquid lipstick that would look very much like um, natural beauty marks or freckles. So I looked at this entire collection and I was like, hmm, which lipstick looks most, which lipstick color looks most like a beauty mark or a freckle? So I just picked out a random one and I chose this one because it's really brown and it looks like a freckle or a beauty mark. And then I looked at the name of it and the name of it is actually beauty mark. So that was a funny, funny thing. So it is genuinely it looks like a beauty mark it's even named after a beauty mark so it's the same color um so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this liquid lip to create our fake freckles um like you can see in the title it's fast fake fake freckles so you're not going to be drawing them on individually and i'm going to show you how i can do it really really quickly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a small duo fiber brush this is sigma f55 you can take any duo fiber brush, this is Sigma F50, it's a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to test it with a smaller one, I usually use the bigger one, but I'm going to, for this tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using the smaller one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the liquid lipstick and I'm going to put some of that onto my brush. So I'm just sort of rubbing the brush ever so lightly into the lipstick, so I'm coating the top of the duo fiber brush. So the top of the hairs, I'm coating with liquid lipstick. So what I'm gonna do when I have the product on my brush and it kind of looks like this, I'm going to stipple that onto my face to create my fake freckles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush and I'm gonna stipple my skin with it. Like you can hardly see it because it looks that natural. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it looks like I have a lot of natural freckles. Like I've just been in the sun. Maybe I can lean in and show you like how it, how you can see the freckles on my nose and all the way here and down here. Like it looks super natural. Super natural. That's a TV show. Never mind. It looks really natural. And if you see some that are too much, too intense, you can just always, because we haven't set the foundation, it's still a little tacky, you can always go in with your finger and sort of blend those ones out, the ones that look less natural than the other ones. So now, because we are working with liquid lipstick, I'm going to give it um, a little time to just settle into the skin and dry up before moving along with our next step. So now that the liquid lipstick has dried down a bit, I'm going to be moving forward with setting the whole face and setting the freckles just to make sure that it won't move throughout the day. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a translucent powder. This is from Laura Mercier. It's loose setting powder. You can use anything as long as it's translucent. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of that powder in the cap or you know everywhere that's fine too and I'm going to be taking this brush this is from Real Techniques this is from the powder blue collection BO2 I love this brush for powder for setting the under eyes or just setting anything in general so I'm going to take a little bit of that powder onto my brush just like this and then I picked up some powder I'm going to work that into my brush by rubbing it in the lid I'm just gonna pat that on top of our fake freckles because they come out so naturally, if they are a bit more intense, you can go in with your foundation brush to blend them more into the skin so that it will look more seamless and more natural. But they actually came out quite natural for me first try, like without doing the foundation thing again on top of it. So I'm just going to be setting it now. And it really makes it sort of blend into the skin a lot more. So yeah, just adding powder to set everything. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want to, you can add a little bit of blush, but I'm actually kind of happy with how it turned out because it gave me a little bit of flush in the center of my face and also it's like 30 degrees outside where I'm living. I don't need blush. My cheeks get red just because of the heat. So I'm not gonna be putting blush on, but you could definitely do that as well as with some bronzer. If you wanna take the sun kiss look to a next level, then you can do that as well. 
So yeah, that is it for this week's video, how to make quick and easy natural looking fake freckles. Um, I will have all of the products I use listed in the description box below along with my socials, my Instagram and my blog if you want to go check that out. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. But other than that, I just thank you for watching, stopping by and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!